everyone, welcome to my The Young and the Restless Homies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. On The Young and the Restless, Claire has returned home. Cole even told Victor on the Tuesday, May 7 episode that he loves both Claire and Victoria, implying that she will be accompanied by her family for some time. Of course, there are still many mysteries regarding what happened while Claire was gone. Usually, when anything happens on the show that causes the internet to go crazy debating it, it's a positive sign. Even if fans are dissatisfied with a certain twist, at least they are discussing it. It's one thing when viewers adore something, it's another when they despise it. But right now, we have the worst of both worlds. We are just confused. Here is why. We're still not sure what transpired in that storage container. Super easy, hardly an inconvenience. Victoria and Cole were very concerned about Claire's disappearance. Summer was certain she conspired with Jordan to kidnap Harrison. Victor was equally persuaded that his new grandchild was as innocent as the driven snow. Victoria and Cole were at a loss for words because they were both horrible character evaluators, so they just worried. Hello? What have we got here? But then the ex-partners discovered a doll in the closet. Cole said it reminded him of the dolls his mother used to own. So he conducted a bodily cavity search and found the key. Victoria recognized it as the key to a local storage unit. They brought it to the local storage unit, discovered the correct unit, and came into Claire. There's also a dead body. Claire is stranded on the young and the restless. Claire and the deceased body are in the storage container. Listen carefully. This is where things became pretty confusing. Claire claimed the dead woman in the room with her was Jordan's accomplice. Who was she? Where has she come from? What did she do? Why has she died? Claire also stated that the woman was inconsiderate enough to die on top of her. So she was trapped. She was unable to move her. She was excessively heavy. We spotted a regular-sized dead body. This was not a newborn elephant or a big piano. Claire couldn't just shove her. Claire couldn't get her legs up. Claire couldn't get out from under her. Claire couldn't weevil free. We have no idea what happened, how, or why. Sure, everyone online is talking about it, but not in a nice manner. Was this all there was to it? Will we uncover Claire's or Cole's secret? Wouldn't Victor be onto something if that were the case, especially since he didn't appear to suspect anything today? Claire may have started out as Jordan's accomplice, infiltrating the Newman family and enticing them into her aunt's fatal trap. But once the truth was discovered, Things changed. Claire gained a new perspective on life after discovering she was Cole and Victoria's daughter, whom Jordan abducted at birth and reared by dripping poison into her ear. She has since attempted to make amends with everyone she has wronged. Given that Summer never trusted Claire's abrupt turnaround in the first place, it will be some time before her opinion of her cousin changes and she begins to treat her respectfully. You never know in soaps where the writers are going to take things, Lanier said. I believe that Summer's opinion may take time to modify, but something might happen in the future that will help her along the path. According to the young and the restless teasers, Sharon Newman is spending most of her time off screen. Sharon appears to be brought out just to provide therapy references and offer a few words of advice to anyone in difficulty. It honestly makes no sense given the popularity of Sharon's character and Sharon Case as an actress. There's no reason Sharon shouldn't always be at the heart of major plotlines. This is especially significant since Case demonstrated her abilities in the 2023 scenario with Cameron Kirsten's revenge plot. Case delivered some incredible performances, which helped keep fans interested. However, there are times when it appears that the show has run out of storylines for Sharon. With that in mind, is it time to re-examine Sharon's bipolar condition and possibly take her off her medications? INR has been down that path before, but there may be more to discover, especially since they can't find anything else for Sharon to do. Mental health crises have become rather prevalent on the show recently, so perhaps it is Sharon's turn to experience another one. 
It's sharing those offer meds for no apparent reason. There may be some mystery involved. What if someone tampers with Sharon's medicines for malevolent purposes? That might lead to someone like Nick Newman realizing Sharon is in trouble and rescuing the day. It would be a terrific way to reunite Nick and Sharon if the program ever decides to do so. Of again, some supporters may not want to watch Sharon spin out of control now that she is on such stable ground. Unfortunately, Sharon's happy, steady existence isn't working so well in terms of airtime. If Sharon has to be a complete wreck in order to generate a storyline that Case can dig her teeth into, perhaps the program should send Sharon over the rails again. If any new information about Sharon's future becomes available, we will be sure to share it with you. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Sharon could use some drama in her life, so stay tuned for more information about her character's future. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Eric Braden isn't afraid to express his opinions on social media, even if it means criticizing the program on occasion. Braden tells it like it is, which is why his followers appreciate hearing from him. Braden recently remarked on an old clip submitted by a fan on X, the platform that was before Twitter. Someone posted a scene from 2011 in which Nikki Newman interrupted Victor and Sharon Newman while they were on date. Eric Braden, who was tagged in the post, couldn't resist commenting on the story itself. Braden made it plain that he didn't agree with the way things turned out. One of the most badly executed storylines, Ever, Braden wrote in response to the post. Many lie, and our viewers quickly agreed. The Victor and Sharon combination was undoubtedly unpopular, so it's no surprise that other fans shared Braden's dislike for the plot. Victor is now thankfully entirely committed to Nikki and their future together, albeit things aren't ideal right now because Nikki is in treatment. Nikki needs time to thoroughly immerse herself in her treatment and concentrate on her recovery. However, Nikki will return home sooner or later, and perhaps her sobriety will last this time. Jordan initiated this disaster by forcing Nikki off the wagon but perhaps Nikki can finally put this alcoholic chapter behind her. However, more drama may be on the way as a result of Victor's lies concerning Jordan's survival and confinement. Victor is also furious with Jack Abbott, who scared Nikki into treatment by passing out on pills and drink in her company. If Nikki returns to find Victor targeting Jack and reigniting their rivalry, the news may cause marital problems. Regardless, Eric Braden seemed to prefer almost any plot over the one provided by YNR when Victor was paired with Sharon. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Victor still has some twists and turns ahead of him, so stay tuned for predictions on all of the surprises and updates on any major narrative developments. Am I the crazy one? Sure, Claire was kidnapped by crazy Aunt Jordan, and she was not involved in the kidnapping of Little. But now that they're safe, should Claire be employed as Harrison's nanny? Summer Lanier believes otherwise. Lanier stated that Summer had experienced every parent's worst nightmare, having their child go missing. All the unknowns. Summer and Harrison's father, Kyle, had been doing a decent job of co-parenting despite their divorce. They get their stride as a team, the actress says. However, they disagree on Claire. Summer believes Claire is just unwell, Lanier says. While the Newmans all seem to be willing to move on from the fact that Claire came to Geno City under false pretenses and helped Jordan kidnap Nikki and reignite her alcoholism, Summer simply has not. While the Newmans appear to be eager to move on from Claire's arrival in Geno City under false pretenses, assisting Jordan in kidnapping Nikki and reigniting her alcoholism, Summer has not. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.